It's probably the best-kept secret in politics. Almost anybody can stand as an independent candidate in the local elections. But hurry up, you've only got a few weeks left to apply. You can be on the ballot paper on May the 1st. Right. All right, we'll OK. Be we'll be honest it's as simple as that. Yeah. OK, I will definitely go then. So Thanks for that. Do you know how to go about standing for election? No, I can't say this. I do. I've never inquired anything like that, no. You don't sound like you have a very high opinion of politicians. I haven't, to be honest with you, no. Um, you get a few sincere ones, maybe at local level, who try to do something. But, I mean, national politicians, I don't yeah. believe in them. They're all in it for what they can get. So, if you do fancy a career in politics, how do you go about it? Well, it's very simple. You go down to your town hall and simply fill in the forms. Do you have to belong to a political party? You don't have to belong to a political party. You can stand as an independent candidate. How much does it cost to stand as a candidate in the local elections? Not a penny. It's free to stand in the local elections. Can anyone stand? Uh, as long as you meet the qualifications, which means you have to be a British, Irish or Commonwealth or European citizen, mm -hmm. and also you have to be of the um, age of voting, which is 18. Mm -hmm. Now, if you do get elected to your local council, what can you expect? A lot of pressure, a lot of demands, a lot of negativity, a lot of criticism, a lot of suspicion, a lot of accusations, but in my case, I can say personally, a great deal of satisfaction that outweighs all the negativity. If you're still interested, I've put some links on how to go about it on the Channel M website. I'm Kevin Duffy for Channel M News.